Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Branch Hill Farm in Milton Mills. I'm joined by Sean O'Brien of the UNH Cooperative Extension. And Sean, the pride of most vegetable gardeners is their tomatoes, all right? I can grow cherry tomatoes, great. But whenever I go to the bigger ones, like a beefsteak or something, they always flop over. Mm. And I'm never quite sure how to put them in the cage so that, yeah. you know, they're, they're properly supported. Right. So when you, you know, tomato, like you said, tomatoes are such a pride of everybody's garden. But you really want to know what kind of tomato you have. So there's two types. There's indeterminate and there's determinate. The determinates are going to stay lower, and they're better for, like, container gardening, and they won't get very high. So that's a great option for a cage like this. This is 54 inches high, and this will really contain those determinate type of tomatoes. Do I just take the, um, you know, the leaves or whatever and put them over the side, or how do I... You want to put, of... you want to install these as soon as you put your tomatoes in. So when you, when you plant your tomatoes, put this right in there. Then you don't have to worry about it. Okay. And then I notice you have some plants right next to you. What do I look for when I'm buying a tomato plant? Yeah, so you want to look at tomato plants that are nice, bright green, that have some good leaf structure, and that, you know, don't show any signs of, of curling or any sort of um, discoloration on your tomato plants. These look really good, actually. Okay. So, obviously, the cage is one way. We've also seen some other ways to kind of trellis your tomatoes. Absolutely. So explain yeah. how those work. So, you can, you can take a stake, a piece of wood that, you know, is pretty tall, especially for those indeterminate types, and stick that in the ground, and then you can use um, sort of like, like twine or something to kind of wrap it up as it grows tall. You can also go from above. If you create an A-frame, you can have wire or string coming down and you can wrap that string around the tomato plants as it grows taller. Okay, so do you pull it up then by the string? Is that how that works? It or will, it... If you wrap the, the plant with the string as it grows, the tomato plants will actually just kind of stay there right in place with, with the string. Okay, and then you can get on to worrying about your tomato diseases. And, uh, oh, but yeah. that's for some <laughs> yeah. for another Different one. day. <laughs> Different day. All right, so hopefully that'll keep your tomatoes upright and you'll be able to enjoy the fruit. And uh, I guess I'll give the cage another shot. That's it for today. Well with Green.